Hello my friends and welcome to Fish Street. Today we are going to visit George, aka Aquaballs, which is aquariums and ball pythons uh, channel down in Orange County, uh, actually just outside of Compton in California, in Los Angeles. So I flew down there last month and we're gonna take a look at his fish room soon. But in this video, I wanted to give you guys a taste of something different and show you just a few of some of his dozens and dozens of pythons and some basic information if you're new to pythons as I am. So uh, I had a ball python as a kid, but that's about all I know about them is the basics from 30 years ago. So. Uh, Get ready to enjoy this one. I had a lot of fun, and thank you so much to George for uh, letting us come and film. I have many pythons. Yeah, yeah. How many do you have? Uh, Holy smokes, you got a lot of trays of snakes. I'm trying to breed this one right now. I'm back to this one. Yes, I have a lot of vehicles here to play with. Oh, wow. You just, I just grab them. Wow. Looks like that. You're beautiful. Very hefty girl. Oh yeah, that pattern's cool. Almost looks like spades. Will it strike? It could. Okay. I don't want you to get yeah, yeah. So the pattern is this called GHI. I don't know what it is. Actually, it's a GHI something 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 something. I have no idea. I've never seen a snake like this. Wow. It just popped out in my collection. Wow. So it just that. Uh, yeah, and it's not for sale. It's a female. I have a lot uh, of snakes here. So pretty one. Let me show you. This is the GHI mama, the female. Whoa! This, yeah, be careful. Just yeah. back up a little bit. Yeah, this yeah. is a feeding time, kind of, they're stripy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now it's night. She, uh, she's tasting. This, there's one called Coral Glow. That's the, just the Coral Glow orange glow. So oh, yeah, those are really cool. This is a big female. Wow, she's coiled up tight. Yeah, she's big. Oh, yeah. Nice and happy. Yeah, um, they all look really yeah. nice. These are nicer ones. Uh, that one's shedding? Yeah. I got like a all white one. Oh wow. Eyes. So smooth looking Super too. Super yellow belly. Yes. Okay. Super yellow belly. Uh, it's got like a black eyes. Yeah. So it's very clean. Leucistic so. rather it's than albino. Uh, Co-dominant. Two, two co dominant together brings that more pop. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Nice. Ooh. Boy. This is a fire pastel yellow belly. Boy, it's hard to believe from what they look like in the wild to what humans have selected. Whoa, is that a female? This is a, some kind of a nice female that I've been wanting. It's a project to breed. Wow, look it's at a those patterns. Are very interesting. Yeah, very beautiful. Wow. I might plug it in this year. I love how she like she's like five, she four thousand gram maybe. Yeah, she's smelling me. Uh, no, or, yeah, or the they air. Don't bite us. Yeah, they're just smelling the air. Yeah, that's a healthy. Sign. Yeah, yeah. And uh, no, very healthy snake. I know, I know, I know. How many, um, how many years have you been doing snakes? I started now? doing this since two thousand and seven. Wow. While I was working, I purchased wow. them one by one. Some of them went for five hundred, six hundred. Yeah. And I got them as baby. I raised them all up. There, some of them you can see. And do you still them. have most of those snakes? Yes. And yeah. I saw their siblings so much. Okay. Yes, I saw so them. how many babies does each snake have so of ball pythons? So they can get from eight to twelve, the max. Okay. The lowest they can be six. Okay. Smaller snake and you know chubby, but small. yeah. And you cannot breed them like small, like twelve hundred gram. You got to do. 1500 gram and over, but the 1500 I don't even recommend. I'll do 2000 and over. Okay. So it'll give you a nice clutch, and then wow. we got an incubator right there, which I'm not in using there? right now. Yeah. And the uh, wow. hatchling rack I'm not using right now. It's all yeah. mess in there, sorry. It's okay. But yeah. I haven't hatched for three, four years. I haven't hatched anything because of like uh, the cells of the bull python around my neighborhood yeah. have been very low. People yeah. stole my snake from the store too when I put it for cosine. Really? Yeah, so they come to buy the snake. Some people are jealous, you know, they just open. I have oh my gosh. They stole it all out. Wow. Yeah. And this is a python, a ball python, hence ball your name, python. Aqua Balls. But what what is this beautiful creature? So this is creature? a beautiful ball python I hatch myself. It's, it's like some coral slight... glow, genetic stripe, Pastel, Coral Glow, Orange Ghost. That is so many names. It's like a very super 
a precious snake for me. Yeah, yeah, that is beautiful. He's got purple. He's got like a slight purple color in this pattern. Yes. Very slight purple, yeah. so the yellowish, and yeah. orange, and uh, red eyes, uh, beautiful red eyes. Oh, he's got red eyes? Like little red eyes in there, yes. Like they're dark, but they've got, yeah. The, the speckles are actually the coral glow. They do that. These are not mites or anything. Could be a little dirty, but there's the specks on there. Yeah. yeah. He's so peaceful. He's not striking or getting stressed or anything. Wow. I'll show you a one female that yeah. is like her. This is the baby of that one underneath. Oh. Yeah. Wow. This is the baby of that wow. exact same snake. That one's a big one. If I open, she will strike us. Where did she cross with? This is a, the white one I just showed you. Yeah. And two gene co-dominates that okay. makes it. It's called Super Stripe. Uh, it's a yellow belly crossed with one called um, seems, so Special. This one seems a little shy. It's, yeah, it's a female. It's another female. It's a oh, very yeah. beautiful pattern. Wow. Here's one they call Bumblebee. It's really pretty. I'll show you that one. Yeah. We're gonna pull. I know. There's my bumblebee female. Okay. Hey, mama. This is really. Oh, she's big. Uh, she's getting there. Yeah. So these guys have little wobble. They are genetically little defect, but there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, but you can see the little little wobble. That's okay. The, all the spiders have it. Yeah. The daddy of it have it. And so this is called bumblebee. Very pretty snake. Pastel spider makes this snake. It's too cold on it. Mostly I got some cold on it. I started with cold on it, things like Mojave's and the last one. Yeah. So this, uh, I got a few recessive too, like the clown. This guy here is a, a killer clown. Uh, very feisty. Let me see. Yeah, you don't have to pick him up, but. Oh, he's in blue. He won't even strike or anything. So this uh, blue eye right there is in shed. Oh, and it's milky. Yeah, yeah so it shows. Yeah. Shed. Very pretty. And then. Right it's called uh, Lesser Leopard. Oh wow! Yeah, you can see it's it's, yeah, it's shed got a little there. shed because uh, we keep in AC on right now. It's hot. Yeah, and the humidity is low. Oh, you got ones up there oh, even. Yeah, look, this one's a Mojave oh. GHI, very beautiful. Wow, she looks. Is she he? This one's a boy. boy. I'll show you the female. He one. looks like a mocha or something. Yeah, it's like very chocolate. gorgeous. Those are darker morph. They yeah. on the dark side of the. Wow. It's pretty, yeah. There's another uh, few. Those are like three ones. Those are kept. None of them for somebody. Yeah, none of, yeah. Don't get any ideas if anybody oh. sees this. Wow, he's heavy, huh? We, we don't get rid of this. We feed them to our isopods, really. Oh, I bet that works great. Yeah. yeah. So this one's a little darker than the other one, but the same sibling. Wow. That's a female. It almost looks like there's like a story of the snake's life or something. See that yeah. Is it's I'm very cool. About. That one I just showed you, it has Arabic red letters. Yeah, it, it looks. It says moat, uh, death. I swear, I got really? I want a shirt in one of the YouTubers. Yeah. Uh, this is a very pretty snake. Very pretty snake. Yeah, wow. Uh, I won't sell it. So really. cool. And so, what is your. <laughs> What's your like favorite, or or what's your? Do you have a favorite out of all the of these? Genetics, yeah. All the favorites. So, this is it. The one. The I pastel. The first one. Yeah. The, the, the G stripe. I like the so G stripe is a recessive. Okay. Pastel is a co-dominant. The coral glow is a co-dominant. Okay. So they all have the co-dominants have a super form. There's a lot to do with that snake. So much more. I can plug it into two more genetics. Uh, uh, co uh, recessive in there and make it like the different snakes. Make it. Interesting. Can it's we, can we take, see it one more time? You don't need to bring Absolutely. it out. I just wanted to. So these are different recipes, like kind of cooking. Uh, yeah. You have to put one. With so one yeah, it's, so it's the not color. the phenotype, or, or it's the genes that you're, you're having to tr keep track of so that you know what next generation will Yes, look they like. are selectively bred. You have Ye to pick when you're picking them. You know, sure. So. Yeah. Wow. Some can get better lines on it. When this one was yeah. baby, it was different color. I'll show you. What oh, I bet. Baby. It was so much better looking. When they're baby, they will look much Very better. striped and stuff? Oh, yes. Yeah. Very, very I beautiful. think I've seen pictures of, of uh, other ones in the, in the past. Very, very nice. I'm trying to breed it back. Right now. Cool. And then what's on the very lower ones? Is so I got the, my bigger ones right here. Uh -huh. um, that one I told you, it's a very strike. Yeah. yeah. Strikes. There's some other co-dominant ones right here. <clears throat> so, are any this of these like, look like normal? Normal. That's snake. That's the normal. Color, that's a normal, normal ball normal. python. It's not normal. It's Genetically, it's yeah, not normal. Yeah, that's the normal. Here I have the spider. 
this thing. Oh no, actually the spider's not here. This is the GHI male. GHI this male. This is just the GHI male. Look how beautiful it is. Very gorgeous snake. Wow. Oh. Got to have it, by the way. It's yeah. called Got to Have It. That's what Got GHI to have it. For. Oh. GHI wow. stands for Got to Have It. And this well. is one of the, like, the coolest GHIs there because of the patterns that like, connected to each other. Yeah, like it's that. like a maze. It's yeah, wild. That's what threw those br uh, dark, dark ones up there. Yeah. That is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. I guess I moved them somewhere else. There's so many names though. Wow. What's in the bottom? Pastel. Oh, okay. Uh, Heterozygous for my uh, clown. Okay. It's just a oh. female I'm raising. Okay. It's just yeah. one. So what I'm going to do, plug daddy back to her when she's big and ready. Got it. And I will get all the visuals because this is recessive morph. You know how recessive So you'll work. get the patterns. So yeah. My knowledge on the recessive dominant yeah. comes from the snakes. I started doing this before I start doing the fish. So that's when I kind of, when I got into the fish, yeah. we were talking, yeah. everything connects to each other. And this, is this one, it says 100% heterozygous? Head, but it looks like a normal. This one's a hat. It looks like a normal. Okay. So you can get two hats, but you won't know until you breed the actual visual. Got it. There's one snake that I actually have. Uh, um, this is my female. The male. Little stinky. Yeah, you little stinky. Yeah, that, it poopy. That's why. It, oh, can't even get it out. So this female right here, let me get it out. And how long, how, I mean, how often do you have to feed them and... Once or twice a week, uh, yeah. yeah, it's up to the... Mice bigger. or rats, yeah. So it all depends. You want to get, feed them something like around right here. That Whatever thickness, that thickness somewhere is. Somewhere like right there. Okay. The belly of the rat. And the head could be smaller. This is, uh, I don't know, again, because... Uh, I was expecting something I put together and I came up with this. I never know what it was. Wow. Two different genetics. And I gave the male to my friend Anthony. And this is the female. Those I'm patterns using. again, they look Very like Aramaic gorgeous. or Arabic or, or uh, Syrian almost. Or the mom I just sold. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, this isn't the mom. These patterns are insane. This is a coral glow orange ghost. Coral glow orange, orange ghost. ghost. Man. That one's one of my favorites, bro. I see E.T.'s face. Yes, E.T.'s <laughs> face. And he seems, he, she, she. This is a boy. This so one's curious. Coral glow, if you breed it to normal, uh -huh. they throw coral glow because they're co-dominant. And what would happen is all the babies would look exactly, all the babies would come out to be males. Oh. So if you're lucky, very, very lucky, like I got one time, yeah. one time this one is a female. So but, now, but it's like one in they a call this, few hundred or yeah, something. Yes, they call this coral glow male maker. Now, if I breed this one yeah. to this one, they're same thing, but not sister brother, but they're mm -hmm. like a further sibling from another mother. Okay. Um, the dad is the same, but the mom's different. So if I breed this to this, uh -huh. I will get another coral glow or super coral glow, and they will be female makers. Oh. So they will be making females, not just males. Yes. It's a very interesting. Is that just stuff. because of do their domes domesticated genes, or in it's, the wild it's that so way too? So it's like that too. I don't think those things don't exist in the wild. Okay, that's what, yeah. The, they don't yeah. exist in the wild. I mean, they came from the wild. It's a code I'm Sure. Gonna, but somehow, I, I mean, I don't think they exist in the wild. They get picked up fast. The albinos. Oh you know, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. You know, very like birds and. Very beautiful. So, and I, okay, so yeah, talking about sexing sex them, a ball uh, python. You, you gotta be very gentle. You gotta know what you're doing. I've yeah. been doing this for very You gotta stick your, your thumb in its bow. Yes, you're pretty much <laughs> yeah. doing that, but a different way. Let me show you really quick. Steve. So this is a boy I already know. Mm -hmm. You'll be putting your thumb right here in the coleca, not the butt. Uh huh, coleca. And then you grab your other thumb, you bend backwards, uh, and yeah. you push forward, and, and you see an, little hemipenes pop up. There's either like a, you see the little sperm come out a little bit on the side. Now, and if it's a female, what okay. happens? Yeah, so let me show you a little more. Here you go. You see those little red thingies? Uh huh. That's the hemipene. He has two of them. And, then and those, like, grab on to the female. So they get out thing? of him, it goes inside her. They don't okay. grab on. Okay. Okay, they don't grab on. Okay. Yeah, and then he has the sperm plugs already. We saw, I saw it. And that's how you can tell your male is ready to breed with another female. So males actually have to wait for their sperm to be ready. Yeah, so, the so male can be it's not all the time like humans. 
is no uh, so once they get to the age they yeah. have the sperm plug so they get to the okay. maturity right and then they can be small like this you don't have to wait so long okay what you do have to do buy first you want to breed them you buy your females you grow them up for a few years uh -huh. and then you get your males because the males it takes only three to four months to grow them up to the wow yes, very quick wow and they will breed for you right away so amazing very cool yeah species to work with. incredible yeah. yeah and everything i have is bull python i don't have any other snake only okay bull pythons. very cool and then the females do they just not have anything when you check the cloaca yeah so oh you got more drawers of snakes wow she's got like a purple head or he's this good. is a yeah super mojave right here wow so beautiful so smooth too i love the way snakes feel oh wow this is getting different colors so do you have to wait to a certain age to know all the, the um, color traits and things yeah, that have been worked? Yeah, this is a pastel GHI fire yellow belly and woma. Wow, that's a lot of descriptions. So this is, these are called power bowls, like <laughs> literally power bowls. They yeah. go for a thousand and up. Wow. And sometimes you can find them for cheaper, like 600, 500. Yeah. It's, if it's too common. But they are very gorgeous. Once you plug this to a normal, mm -hmm. so you get pastel, Mojave. Uh, no, oh, so there's no Mojave in it. So pastel, GHI, yellow belly, and all that. Let's say if I plug this to a uh, yellow belly, I get a white snake, little bit of pattern colors on there. But it won't show the GHI. Sometimes it will, white wow. snakes will take away. So you want to be careful who you plug it in. It's like a recipe, you got to know what So, So if you were to cross this with another white snake, it's not a good idea, especially good idea. if it has a yellow belly in it. Okay. If it has a Mojave, it's okay. We'll get all the black colored ones with the patterns, all yeah. the crazy. So we got some future projects to work on. Very cool. How how hot do you have to keep them in, in these in little the drawers and right stuff? Here, there's a heat tape. I oh, have an okay. 86. Okay. Wait, yeah. And, so it's uh, like a little and cave. The front is right now at 77. And so since the they burrow is... naturally, that it's like warm underground and yes. like. And they uh, hide under the newspaper. You saw I do paper. Yeah, right newspaper. Wow. And then do they go to the bathroom just once a week too? Yes. Once you feed them, clean them, they go to the bathroom. Like that's why I'm about to do that. Very cool. I, I, I need water in them. Very you straightforward. Right, why? Well, yeah, that's great. Do they need UV light for no, the... Not at all, so they're borrowers, they don't need that. Okay. So the heat, to okay. digest the food is very important. The heat, to have the right. The heat in there too. Like and the, humidity, is yes, that... Yes, uh, so the reason they're not shedding very well, because of the humidity, you're supposed to put them and soak them in the water. Oh, yeah, I've, okay, I've seen so, that. And then they yeah. will come off. Okay. Uh, that way you clean and drink more water yeah. and stuff. Interesting. Uh, you can do that or other things like. Uh, I've seen people use those those balls too. The little, uh, the ones that you like add water to and they oh, swell. What are they doing with it? They just they just use like they get a whole pa bunch of packets. They put it in a Tupperware tub. Orbeez. And yeah, Orbeez. And they just let them swell and then they put the snake in there. And it, especially if it's stuck when oh. it's shedding. Oh, that is so. It neat. like really oh, helps. Won't eat the Orbeez. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've seen a few different channels. Oh wow, show that's it. neat. I yeah. Try that. Yeah. That's it's cool. All right, guys, uh, sorry for the abrupt cuts and edits. We had a lot to cover and uh, a little time, but we are going to have another video about 30 minutes in length with a tour of his entire fish room coming very soon. So if you enjoy this content, like it, share, thumbs up, that helps get the word out, helps me keep doing this, helps me keep traveling. And uh, it's so appreciated, uh, you guys just being a part of the community and uh, leaving a comment of what you think of uh, this stuff. If you like the snake content or if you'd rather I not do snake content, whatever it may be, it's all helpful feedback. So thank you so much for your time and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you next time on Fishery.